Hey gang, Matt here. Wanted to do a video following up. I got a lot of questions on IG about anodizing titanium. So I figured I'd just share a little bit of a video here. So I will link all of the parts and pieces that I got off of Amazon. Um, altogether, I paid maybe 250 bucks or less for this setup. So not too, not too expensive to get started and it's pretty straightforward here. So first, thing, first you need a container with an electrolyte solution. So um, I just use water and I uh, put um, about a quarter cup of baking soda in it and dissolved it. And so I made a, a basic electrolyte solution there. Um, next thing you need obviously is your power supply. I just got this one off of Amazon, pretty basic unit for maybe 150 bucks, something like that. Um, and then, your power supply comes with your um, comes with your anode and with your cathode, and so with your grounding wire here, you need a cathode. Um, I have a titanium plate here um, that again I just got off of Amazon, um, and then for your um, for your positive current for your anode. Um, I think I'm getting that right. I can't remember from <laughs> physics class, but uh, I just have some titanium wire here. I got a spool of that, cut some, and then made a little uh, titanium wire right there. And yeah, that's about all that you need. So it doesn't take up a whole lot. And then I just put it away when I'm not using it. And so how anodizing works is that you're gonna be, depending on different levels of current, will determine the color spectrum that you do. Most things that I do this for is a gold spectrum, which comes in at about 60 um, to 65. Now, I always suggest you start low because it's a one-way street. Um, you can always anodize, you can always up the current and it'll change the anodization up the spectrum, but you can't go back. And so here is just a standard old stock abutment titanium abutment right there so you can see it's the classic silver color and so I'm going to drop it into our solution <clears throat> and then I've got this clipped here just like this and then my grounding wire is clipped to the uh, um, grounding plate there and if you see here, this is set to 64 right now. Now I'm gonna dial this down. I'll dial it down quite a bit here. So that way you can see the color changes. So I'll dial it down to maybe, yeah, 36. See what that shows up, okay? So then this is on. I don't wanna to touch this, <laughs> wear gloves and all that stuff, but then we're gonna go down and we're gonna to touch And so you can see that that turned that this very cool blue color, okay? So, but obviously I don't want a blue, <laughs> I don't want a blue abutment, I want gold. So I'm gonna bring this up and we'll do it, oh, we'll do it to 55, see what that looks like there, okay? There we go. So 55 is turning it more of the classic yellow. And that's another thing. So um, depending on the shade and the hue that you want, so that turns it a very almost like light yellow, not quite gold yet. So now I'm gonna turn it back up to that 64 where I was at. Give it plenty of time to do its thing. There we go. All right, I'm gonna kick that off. All right, and now bring this up. And there we go, that nice gold color. So if you're needing to do a more aesthetic abutments, there you go. 
so yeah that's about it it's pretty easy and then you can go up from there so like if you're uh you can split anodized stuff you can cover up you can seal up part of like a, ti uh, a titanium bar and you can anodize the bottom half uh, kind of a pink i think those are more into the 70 or 80 volt ranges i can't quite remember for sure i just stick between 60 to 65 because i just anodize stuff gold and so that's really my happy place but yeah i hope this helps and links will be in the notes take care